Hi, now that you have decided or at least thinking about investing in a systematic investment plan, let's compare two scenarios. In the first one, we are taking an initial investment of $0 and a monthly investment of $100 for the next 10 years, that is 120 months. In the second scenario, we are saying that initially we are investing $1000 upfront and then on a monthly basis $100 for the next 10 years that is 120 months. We are anticipating a growth of 15% year on year in both the scenarios. So in the first case the total investment comes up to $12,000 that is $100 into 120 months. The future value, that is the final value at the end of 10 years, is coming up to $27,522. We'll see how we got there. With a profit of $15,522, that is a total percentage returns of 129.35%. In the second case, wherein we had also invested an additional $1000 at the beginning of the investment. We are getting a future value of $31,962. The profit being $18,962. The total returns in this case is coming up to 145.86%. So do you see just with the difference of $1000 in the beginning, we are seeing the difference of percentage returns from 129.35 to 145.86. To understand how to create this, what I have done is taken a copy of my Excel or actually not even a copy, a replica of my Excel and put it next to each other. This is possible using the new window feature in Excel, which is under the view tab, new window. So now I have two sheets next to each other. The first sheet is my final comparison and the next sheet is what we are going to create in. Let's start entering the values. Initial investment was $0 in the first scenario. $100 was the monthly investment. Number of months is 120 because number of years is 10. 10 into 12 months, 120 months. And the anticipated growth percentage is 15%. Let's calculate the total investment equal to your initial investment plus your monthly investment into the number of months, right? That gives you $12,000. Now let us calculate the future value. So we will say equal to FV. That's the formula for future value. First thing it is asking you for the rate. So we take the anticipated growth percentage and we cannot simply go ahead, we have to first divide it by 12. Why? Because our investment is on a monthly basis. So if your investments were on a quarterly basis, you would have divided this by 4, comma, and per. How many months are you going to invest for? So 120 months, comma, PMT. What is the amount that you're going to invest every month? A hundred dollars, comma. PV, present value. What is the amount that you initially invested? That is zero. Close the bracket, press enter. Now you may notice that you're getting a negative value. So we made some mistake. What has happened is your PMT and your PV in this formula should always be negative. Why? Because money is going out of your pocket. So you may going to make a minus sign here and a minus sign here. Now when we press enter, we get a value of $27,522. Let's compare it with the earlier case, 27,522, 27,522. We know we've done it right. Let's now calculate the profit equal to final value minus the initial value, right? So we get a profit of $15,522. To calculate the percentage returns, you simply take your profit divided by the total investment and it gives you the percentage. Similarly, for the second scenario, I am simply copy pasting these values here and changing this initial investment from 0 to 
I will also copy all these formulas directly here so that my new values are generated. Now you see that from 129.35% we are getting a total percentage returns of 145.86% with the additional $1000 investment in the beginning. Thank you.